Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So we have a big announcement from Carlson Coin today, and that is that they're transitioning to Carlson Hash V2 on mainnet on the 13th of September 2024. So at approximately 1337. So to follow on, if you want to kind of check out like what's been going on in terms of the Casper forks right now, there is a video that I made one day ago. You can go check that out. A lot of people commenting saying Pirin is you know 10 blocks per second now it's innovating in the space and a lot of people didn't really agree with what i was saying in that video because what it ultimately boiled down to was the fact that the network is pretty much compromised so this entity that's been coming onto the network and all the k heavy hash variant networks and putting a load of hash rate on there is controlling those networks in a sense after they've mined all those coins what they tend to do is just sell it off so it's having a massive effect across these networks. And Carlson Coin have actually decided to hard fork to Carlson Hash V2, as we can see here. So this is a good step in the right direction. We saw it with Ironfish, and we're going to get a little bit into that because it is kind of intertwined here. Ironfish, when the entity came onto the network, when they had FPGAs, they instantly were saying that they needed to basically create a new hashing algorithm, and that was called Fish Hash. And they switched over their network probably maybe two, three weeks after the entity was on their networks. Radiant obviously partnered up with them. Alephium, the hash rate kind of outgrew it and ASICs came online. So they got kind of saved there. And then the last one was Kyla coin, which didn't really go anywhere in particular anyway. However, when it comes down to the network hash rate, you can still see that the entity is on there. You have around 52 Terra hash there and it goes all the way up to around 120 Terra hash. So controlling a lot of the hash rate on the network. It dips off a little bit, but I think that might just be to do with the miners. And subsequently, it is all coming from right now hero miners, I believe. So going back to this announcement, we are excited to announce the upcoming hard fork on the Carlson mainnet, introducing the world's first fish hash implementation into Rust and Go with one block per second DAG. This hard fork will transition the network from Carlson Hash V1 to Carlson Hash V2, incorporating the new Fish Hash Plus algorithm. After extensive development and testing, we are now prepared to implement this significant upgrade. So I don't know if they had this in the works beforehand, because it says after extensive development and testing. I don't know if they had it in the works beforehand, because that kind of implies that they did. Or maybe they just started getting to it straight away when they saw that the entity was basically taking up most of the hash rate. I don't know where they stood in terms of that, in terms of the timeline, but it'd be a good thing to know if they were actually prepared for this, or they had to make a quick action and actually divert to fish hash. So this comes from Ironfish, as we all know. Hard fork details, the hard fork block is scheduled to occur at block height whatever at DAA score, which is estimated to be reached September 13th at approximately 1337 UTC. So new hashing algorithm, this is the main thing. Carlson hash v2 will utilize fish hash plus, a highly secure algorithm inspired by Lolly Debeebs, fish hash white paper, so for iron fish. The new algorithm is designed to be fully ASIC resistant and move out FPGA hardware. So we think that the entity is on FPGA hardware, fostering a more decentralized and equitable mining environment. Then it just goes over node update requirements, how to update it, exchange and pool operators for those out there, and just encouraging everyone to update their cars on hash nodes to actually implement this in. So we've got a lot of people commenting saying it's a good thing, and personally I think it is a great thing. Because we had Ironfish and they kind of made that jump quickly, they kind of, I wouldn't say survived the entity, but they at least made a change and kind of cut that off. So it cuts a little bit of the monetary supply off because you're cutting off a network right there. Carlson Hash subsequently is obviously doing this. And then the other ones I think was Pirin, Husat, and Bunga, and Cedra coin. They were actually getting a lot of the hash rate as well. When we look at the Carlson price in the last seven days, it hasn't actually been too great. But when we're looking at this, so we have a high up here. And this kind of coincides in the last seven days, if you look at the charts that we're seeing here, coincides with the price actually going down. So as soon as that hash rate hits the network, 
I'm willing to bet that they get the coins from hero miners and then they sell off straight away and that's why we're seeing it dip down. I don't know why it came up here. But then if we look in the last month, it's actually been doing really, really well until the entity actually came onto the network. So in the last month, it's actually been doing really, really well until when we see dips off here and here. This was when the entity was actually coming on the network. So it's dipping the price down. They probably saw it as relatively profitable to mine it at whatever hardware and electricity rate they had. And they probably applied that same thinking to Pirin and the other K heavy hash variants. But even when we're looking at the three months chart, it hasn't really gone up too much since the three months. And then the yearly chart is even worse. So there was a lot of people saying, you know, price doesn't matter. It's more about the technology and stuff like that. But if the coin ultimately fails, and nobody wants to invest in it, as in buy the coin instead of actually mining it, then there's no real use case for it at that point. I do agree with the, a lot of people saying that the technology is important and these new chains that are coming out have to have good technology to succeed, but the adoption also has to be there. And with Carlson, the adoption hasn't really come in. I feel like when we have these kind of things and changes onto chains where they're moving hashing algorithms or, you know, they get attacked by the entity, you kind of basically see it fail from there. You know, Radiance, kind of a good example where they partnered up with them. And I don't feel like that was the best move in terms of the outlooking forward facing of the coin because it doesn't look good to basically invite a large amount of hash rate onto the network and kind of push out basically anyone else that was mining it. But ultimately, it is secure in the network. It's just, it leaves it vulnerable to attacks. So anyway, stick around on the channel and we'll see kind of how this goes. Leave a comment whether you think this is a good thing or bad thing, whether you think that the other Casper Fork should actually implement this as well. I think it would be a good thing if they did. And let me know which Casper Fork you think is going to try this next. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.